Time now for this week's Buyer's Beat with investigative reporter Christine Byers. She writes a weekly column on KSDK.com with context on crime and court cases in our area. And this week, our I-team exposed how hundreds of parents across the country are suing baby formula companies, alleging the products cause a deadly disease in preemies. So what can you tell us about this? Sure, so Mike and Kelly, this disease is devastating. It's called necrotizing enteral colitis. So people call it just neck for short. And basically premature babies are susceptible to this disease because it attacks their underdeveloped intestines. And basically it, because their intestines are not fully formed, they're susceptible to infection. So how is the formula connected to this disease? So the argument in all of these lawsuits is that formula contains cow's milk. And the research in these lawsuits says that premature guts basically cannot handle cow's milk products that create bacteria and infection in a premature baby's intestines. Okay, what is the connection? Why Illinois? What's the connection to this case in our area? So Illinois has something that's actually sort of unique to the area. Um, the trial, the, there's over 330 lawsuits that have been filed um, related to this, and most of them have con been consolidated, and the first trial is gonna be happening at St. Clair County. Um, Illinois has what's called a discovery rule, and here's the attorney explaining what that means. But if that case is brought in Illinois, where Abbott is headquartered, the state of Illinois is gonna use their discovery rule. So it's two years from the date that the mom or the parent discovered that the product caused necrotizing enterocolitis. And, and this isn't new, is that right? This, this goes back for quite some time. That's right, Mike. It goes back for decades. I mean, the research goes back for at least 2009. Um, there are some mothers out there that are part of this lawsuit. There's a Ferguson mother whose son is now 11 years old and his twin brother died from neck. Um, and so it, it's definitely not a new issue. This could have such far reaching ramifications. So. What are the formula companies saying about this? Sure. So the formula companies are arguing that the research is inconclusive and it's out of context in the legal filings. And they also say in a statement that their products, they do not believe their products cause neck. Well, it's going to be interesting. Next month is when the trial starts, right? I know you'll Absolutely. Be there. The science will be tested. All right. Christine, thanks.